Prince Harry shares glimpse of Archie's cheekiness including our Zoom calls. Reflecting on what he loved about fatherhood, Prince Harry told Hoda Kotb of today, all of it. Prince Harry is encouraging his son Archie's cheeky side. The Duke of Sussex sat down with today's Hoda Kotb on Wednesday to talk about returning to the Invictus Games. The Paralympic-style competition for service members and veterans that he founded in 2014. As a father of son Archie, who will turn three in May, and daughter Lilibet, ten months. When Kotb asked what a typical Wednesday is like for Harry, he replied that it revolves around the kids as much as humanly possible. This whole working from home stuff is not all it's cracked up to be, certainly post-epidemic. Because it's really hard, Prince Harry said. But when your kids and you are in the same place, it's really hard to separate the work from them because they kind of overlap. So, I mean, Archie spends more time interrupting our Zoom calls than anybody else. But he often gets us off them, as well, so that's also a nice thing, he continued. When the host asked if Archie inherited some of Prince Harry's famous cheekiness, Harry said he thought so. I always try and keep that. I think that the cheekiness is something that keeps you alive, he said. There's so much to be happy about in the outside world, but there's also so much to worry about. Harry added, my sort of mantra now every day, it's a dangerous one. Because I need to make sure that I don't have burn out, but it's trying to make the world a better place for my kids. Otherwise, what's the point in bringing kids into this world, right? It's a responsibility. That I feel as a parent and that you probably feel as a parent as well. Reflecting on what he loved about fatherhood, Prince Harry said, all of it. The chaos, the learning, the reminder of just every element of yourself, your soul, right? He said. Harry also said Archie is at an age where he asks a lot of questions why this, why that, why that. I gave him the most honest answer that I can until he's satisfied, Harry said. When it comes to bringing Archie and Lily to the Invictus Games someday. Harry tells exclusive cover story, we can't wait and he's already introduced the competition to his son. I showed Archie a video of wheelchair basketball and rugby from the Invictus Games in Sydney, and he absolutely loved it, Harry says. I showed him how some were missing legs and explained that some had invisible injuries, too, he continued. Not because he asked, but because I wanted to tell him. Kids understand so much. And to see it through his eyes was amazing because it's so unfiltered and honest. Prince Harry also shares that he's a proud papa after daughter Lily took her first step. Her current priorities are trying to keep up with her brother, Harry tells. I am an incredibly lucky man to have her as my wife, Prince Harry tells. The Invictus Games have been tied to some of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's very pivotal and sentimental moments. Since the Duke of Sussex started the Invictus Games, an adaptive sports competition for service personnel and veterans, in 2014, he has become both a husband and a father of two, son Archie, who turns three on the 6th of May, and daughter Lilibet, ten months. After making their public debut as a couple in Toronto and announcing their pregnancy with son Archie ahead of the Sydney Games. This year's competition in the Netherlands marks the third time that Harry has been able to share the experience with Meghan. There is no way you can feel more embraced and supported than with the Invictus family, the Duke of Sussex tells exclusive cover story. The Toronto Games were our first time out and about publicly in an official way. We were dating at the time, so it was a lot to take in, but fortunately, we were with the perfect community for that. Now, five years later, here we are in The Hague at the 5th Invictus Games, as parents of two and living in the US. He adds, I had always wanted to share these incredible moments with someone special. And to have Meg by my side means everything. Last time we were at the Games was in Sydney in 2018. When we had just announced we were pregnant with Archie. So the Games are important to us for many reasons, and they are anchored to very pivotal. And sentimental moments for us as a couple. I am an incredibly lucky man to have her as my wife. Ken Fisher, the chairman and CEO of Fisher House, a charity for military families, adds that Prince Harry and Meghan also have a positive effect on the athletes. I see the looks on people's faces when he and Meghan walk into a room. Everything changes. Everything lights up, he says. And there's so much darkness in these, military families, lives. The life they bring in, it's healing. 
Prince Harry recognizes the sacrifices made by service members as well as their families. Being a dad certainly adds another emotional layer to it, he tells. When I was in the army, I promised myself I would be out before having a wife and kids. Because I couldn't imagine the heartache of being apart for so long during deployment, the risk of possibly getting injured. And the reality that my family's lives could be changed forever if that happened. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.